I have in my hand something that I never thought I'd see from Colt. This is the LE901 16S modular carbine. It's a 762 by 51 millimeter NATO semi-automatic rifle made by Colt in Hartford, Connecticut. One of the first main departures for Colt on this rifle is its monolithic upper receiver. Colt has a brand new CNC machine that they chuck the, a huge billet of aluminum in and they cut this receiver, they cut these rails. It's monolithic, that means there's no separate fore end. That also means that the one in 12 inch twist barrel can be fully free floated, except of course, where the gas block comes in. While the upper receiver is a departure, it's the lower receiver that really sets the 901 off from all other guns. What this does is allow the same lower receiver to be used with both 7.62 and 5.56. When you buy a Colt 901, you're buying a direct gas impingement 7.62 NATO rifle, but it also gives you the ability to hang just about any kind of AR upper receiver onto the gun. And the way they did it was simply ingenious. This gun takes down like any other Colt. Simply press the bolt release. You have two pins that you press. You have an ambidextrous magazine release, one on each side, as well as an ambidextrous bolt release. But the receiver actually comes apart very easily. You simply push out both pins. You can remove the lowest receiver from the top receiver. Now another thing that Colt did was they actually put a steel insert into the upper receiver. You know, you get some battering with the cam pin on most AR-15, M16 rifles, and it was perhaps a little more pronounced on the 7.62. So down on the inside, you can actually see there's a separate steel insert to make sure there's no battering of the forged aluminum upper receiver. This block is the key to the modular nature of the carbine. The lower receiver, of course, is very different in profile, and that's because this gun can accept SR-25 or US M110 magazines. Those are 7.62 magazines. It comes with a Magpul. But once you've got the lower receiver stripped and you want to put 5.56 in, you've got to do a couple of things. The first thing you do is you take your insert block, and there's a pin here that's very simply goes on to any mil-spec compatible upper receiver. You just push that pin in. Then you have to swap the buffer. And now your 7.62 rifle, which actually weighs nine and a half pounds, is down to a seven and a half pound 5.56 carbine. Just about any AR-15 platform receiver will fit on this gun, whether it's 7.62 by 39, whether it's 6.8, 5.56, or of course 7.62. Just about any caliber, that's modularity.